Hi, my name is Hashim and today we're going to be dealing with this problem which essentially states that we have a cylindrical tank with a hemispherical top. This is the hemispherical top. This is the cylinder. The volume is 5.0 into 10 to the power 5 liters when filled. Please keep in mind that we are not accounting for any dead spaces. There are no dead spaces in this tank. No dead spaces in this tank. It is all filled. Determine the tank radius and height to minimize the tank cost. Now this is a very, very important problem that chemical engineers face in the industry as to how to reduce the cost of equipment. It is very easy to size a tank but at what cost are we going to get the most efficient size or the most efficient cost for that size is the main problem so if the cylindrical portion costs 300 per meter square of surface area and hemispherical portion costs 400 per meter square then what are our dimensions what dimension should we give to our tank here is the tank config. This is the mathematical model, or let's say the mathematical formulas of the various geometrical entities in our configuration. The cylindrical volume is pi r square h, which is very well known and common. Hemispheres volume is this one. The cylindrical surface area AC is equal to 2 pi r h. 2 pi r essentially is this perimeter of the circle while a multiple by h makes it makes it an area the hemispherical surface area a h is equal to 2 pi r square now let's come to the assumptions this tank contains no dead space we are assuming that the tank is full to the hilt there are no dead spaces in the tank the concrete slab with hermetic seal is provided for the base essentially meaning that nothing no leakages will happen it is perfectly sealed Cost of the base does not change appreciably with tank dimensions. It is not something that we are accounting for in this problem. So now let's come to the computational method, the method that we will use, we will input in our program so that it can give us the answer graphically or numerically. The total volume V tank is equal to VC plus VH. This is VC, this is VH. VC is the volume that can be held by our cylinder. VH is the volume that can be held by our hemisphere. So V tank is equal to VC plus VH. We already know V tank. We have already been provided with this value, which is 500 times per 5 liters. Dividing that by 1000 will give us the volume in metric cube. So if we solve, solve this for h, that is to say, if we take h to the left hand side and move all the values to the right hand side, then it will be solved for h. Simple algebra. Now comes the difficult part. To express the cost in dollars as a function of height and radius. This is the expression of cost, which has been provided to us. Now, we compute height and then cost for a range of values of R. We do not know R, so we will be giving MATLAB our preferred range of values in which we think our radius should lie so that it can give us or show us the optimum radius that this tank should have. And with this, we will come to know the minimum value of C or cost that we will get if we choose the particular R or radius suggested to us by MATLAB. To determine the range of R to investigate, make an approximation by assuming that H is equal to R. Then from the tank value volume. So in this expression, in this expression, replace H by R. So we will guess get this one solving for r we get this expression 
Now let's solve in MATLAB. Now moving on to writing the program. We first give some, some comments, the clear command, and then we give it the radius range that we expect our tank to have. Then we give in the formula for height. I would request you to watch the video till the end because there are a few mistakes that I made that will actually um, hinder the program to perform as it actually should. These are actually the most important commands of the program. The, these lines are simply plotting commands. You should put hold on after every plot command so that the next plot is also on the same figure. If you don't put in the hold on command, you will find that it will open another window for the plot. We do not want that. We want both the lines to be in the same figure. These are simply the statics, the X labels, the Y labels, and such. And now this is also a very important command. This will give us the minimum cost. So after that, you simply display the results. This is for the numerical results. We have already made command for the graphical results. Okay, so now as you can see, there are a few problems. I will now go on to correct these problems. First of all, the formula for height is, was actually input wrong. We will change that. Very easy fix. And now we also change the name of variables. We are going to change the name of a variable, few variables under the data manipulation comment. After this, we expect to see our graphical results and numerical result results. So there is a problem yet. Also, sorry for this uh, other mistake. Um, the cost should actually be on y axis. This cost should be on, should be here. And radius height should be, ought to be here. So, how do we correct this? Is the question. <coughs> Simply go here. Cut, paste, simple, cost, radius height. 